Hello in this one, explosive slash maximized and critical builds. Fez is going to start with maximized build as it is more friendly to new players. Explosive slash was reworked in season 6 rebirth. We no longer scale with area of effect but instead with weapon range. We lost quite a few options on our zodiacs but overall damage is still higher as the fire explosion interaction on the skill tooltip was fixed and now it works as it should. Because we scale only with weapon range right now, you can make the skill as big as your screen. But now, let's get into the build. For early skill board on a maximized build, you want something like this. So we start with Explosive Slash, Warrior Shadow, additional fire damage, confidence, quick attack, persistence, and savagery. On utilities, we want our attack seal to be seal of persistence, because this is the best with maximized build. For defense seal, you can pick up any defensive seal that you have. I opt for seal of dodge. You can do physical, elemental domain, or even resistances. And on Illusion Axe, we want uh, Earth Energies, Extract Earth Energy. For Attack, Enhance, we want Fighter's Rod. For Defense, Enhance, we want Bulwark of Protection. These two linked with Increase Duration and Time Acceleration. Shadow Provocation is here for the Arm Amplification. You want it linked with Time Acceleration, Hushet Shout, Lingering Shout, and Buff Activation when hit. So it would proc automatically. For movement abilities, I always opt for leap attack and sprint together with this arm. Zodiacs on the maximized build should look something like this. I'm gonna start with non-spec nodes, but one thing to remember, whenever you unlock a spec node, which is gonna be at 22 points, 45 points and 70 points, you always want to spend your points there first. But to keep it more systematic, I'm starting with non-spec nodes and then into spec nodes. So, on Afros, Swamp, Jewel, Stem, Flash, Rainbow, Breath, Dust, don't forget Rock Collision, this is our weapon range. Stench. Spider. Pick up Cold Gaze only when you have additional cold damage on every hit. And if your stats are 200 and more, you can pick up Palm of Harmony. This is where our cold damage comes from, from the Plague. Also, we want lightning damage to apply shock. After that, pleasure is basically to negate the debuff of fire energies, which is minus attack damage multiplier, and we don't want that. So this one for early build is a really nice pickup. Spec points, we want to do dawn. I'm opting to pick up convert mana, but remember, if you're doing convert mana, you really want HP Absorb. Hail, Element Observer is really strong. And Sympathy, this is where our HP Absorb comes from. Attack Speed and some Strike Damage Amplification. At the same time, I picked up HP Amplification, but if you don't want to, you can spend those two extra points somewhere else. And that's how early Zodiacs look like. This is really nice to start with, but later it's gonna require some min-maxing. For example, if you don't need Convert Mana, you can spec into Hammer, you might find a little bit more damage in here. At the same time, whenever you get additional Lightning Damage or additional Cold Damage on your weapon, you can remove these 7 points or even 14 points depending on how you build and spend those points somewhere else for more Amp. And one of the choices could be like in here for Fighting Spirits or even in here for Sensational Perfume. But yeah, this depends on how far you have advanced. For Charm Blessings, we are looking for Capri. This is our main one. Then into Boreal. And after that, we kinda out of options. So the only option we have is to go Castor. These three on Maximize build. For the Charm Affixes, we are looking for something like this. Maximize Damage Multiplier, Damage Multiplier. And then, if you're wielding a two-hander, Damage Man two-handed weapon. If you're not wielding two-hander, you're wielding one-hander for some reason, then it's gonna be Damage Man one-handed. This is basically the most offensive charm we can get by default. Of course, 
If you can't get 3 damage affixes, you can get also HP multiplier or some chaos or elemental resistance multipliers, it depends on you, but this is looks like a perfect charm. At the same time, the reason why I'm not adding chance to deal double maximized damage on hit, it's because if you are using band of certainty, this one is really low in value. It doesn't increase your damage basically at all. But if you're not using band of relics, you want to start with Psebda. On the passive pickup chaos resist, on the active pickup mental simulation with increased buff effect and cooldown recovery speed. For the second one, you can opt into Alyssa, pick up Enhanced Fire Energy, which is a little bit counterintuitive, but it's still gonna be strong. And then pick up Hellfire with increased buff effect and cooldown recovery speed. So, right now, whatever you choose to use Hellfire or Mental Simulation depends on you. Mental Simulation increases your damage taken increase, while Hellfire is better in that sense that it doesn't increase your damage taken and you can craft hellfire effect on your rings so hellfire is much better later into the game for the third one we go castor on castor we can pick up enhanced enhanced sanctum effect or just enhanced strength alternative instead of castor you could go capri and pick it up just for fire pen and fire damage, which could also work. And the last one is gonna be Boreal, as it can only be 15 levels, and we pick up Enhanced Itemization on the Maximize build, we are looking for two-handed sword, with implicit equip weapon range, and with the lowest critical rate possible, in this case it's 9. On the affixes, we always want to get weapon attack damage multiplier, this is our main damage, after that Maximize damage, then you can opt into fire damage flat, weapon attack damage flat, fire damage multiplier, and weapon range. You can switch weapon range into weapon speed if you want to. This is basically an early game perfect weapon. That's how it should look like. After you're done with your weapon, what you want on your items, I'm gonna show it on the chest. So basically you want HP multiplier, HP flat, and main defense type multiplier. In this case, this is ammo chest, so it's ammo multiplier. And on the suffixes, you want to pick up as many resistances as you need and the specific resistances that you need to cap those out. So this is basically a defensive craft for early game. And it's the same on the helmet, shoulders. If you need more defenses, you always look for resistances and for the main defense multiplier. If you have dodge, it would be dodge multiplier. Of course, if you want to craft a little bit more damage, for example, on your neck, focus on more offensive nodes, on more uh, offensive affixes. On the neck, you can do something like elemental damage multiplier and fire damage flat. On the rings, you can pick up attack speeds and elemental damage multipliers. Don't forget on boots to pick up movement speed. And on gloves, you can pick up some attack speed also. For skill board later into the game on maximize build, and this is non-meta skill board, so it should work every single time. On Explosive Slash, we have two choices. We can either go Source for Savagery, which is weapon range and melee damage amplification, or if you can lose a little bit of weapon range, Origin is a, a lot of fire damage amplification. This is, damage-wise, is gonna be the biggest one, so it's up to you. If you pick up Source, you will need to switch the Savagery link on your skill board, but this is how the links look like, Warrior Shadow into Source, Fighting Spirit into Source, Ignition Explosion into Origin. One thing to remember, if you don't have it awakened into Origin, you can't use Ignition Explosion. Smash into Source, Persistence into Origin, and Savagery into Origin. Persistence and Savagery can be switched to anything else that gives you damage jump. So, for example, if you cap your attack speed, you can use Strike. If you can't use Savagery, you can use Mana Storm, Iron Will, Melee Damage Amplification. Just remember to awaken Melee Damage Amplification into Origin, so you could inflict Dot. Other changes that I made in here on Fighter's Wrath, it's Decrease Duration. Just remember that this might be a damage loss if you're doing this too early. At the same time, totem activation upon using enhanced skill with the weakened totem, awaken it into source. On Fighter's Wrath and Shadow Provocation, I added enhanced effect. On Shadow Provocation, at the same time, I added Predator's Roar. 
I switch leap attack into pen penetrating slash. It's faster movement animation. And I picked up Shadow of Justice to remove hard CC when you are crowd controlled together with buff activation upon crowd control so it would work automatically. So this is how it looks like. As I said, Explosive Slash can be... Some of these links can be switched to anything else that gives you damage jump. But this is pretty much optimal setup. For Season 6 Rebirth meta, the only thing we do, we add Extract Energy Awakening to Source and Extract Fire Energy. And this is gonna be more damage than any other combination of links, at least in Season 6. At the same time, this is gonna be really good if you pick up the Zodiacs to decrease the negative effect of the fire energy, as negative effect of the fire energy is attack damage decrease per stack. And we are attack, we are not spell, so we really want to minimize this. For critical build, this is how the skill board should look like. So we got Seal of Striking instead of Seal of Persistence. And on the Explosive Staff itself, Warrior Shadow, Fighting Spirit, Ignition Explosion, remember to awaken into Origin, otherwise don't use it. Melee Damage Amplification into Origin, if not Origin, don't use it. Savagery and Iron Will. You can switch Savagery to like Mana Storm or even Grip, grip Strength, there is many choices. Elemental Damage Amplification, anything that you can use. So, the main difference in here is that on critical build, we can't really do the extract energy meta that's going on right now in season 6. Because we're gonna have our critical reduced and maximization chance reduced. However, you might want to add just extract fire energy and check your damage because extract fire energy could be a little bit more damage even if you lose a little bit of attack damage multiplier so you can try this one for the zodiacs the only big change in here is basically this one you you want to pick up elaborate attack instead of distorted senses everything else you can keep the way it is for the charms, you want to focus on critical damage, critical rate. These are your two main affixes. And the third affix, you can pick up maximized damage because when you do crit, you still can do maximized. Or just damage multiplier, damage when two hand equip multiplier, or some resistances or HPs. But these two are most important ones. For the legendary prefix, we are looking for strike damage amplification. And the best one is maximization chance because. It gives you the most damage and you start doing maximized damage too and this is a big damage increase. For the weapon on critical build, we are looking for, again, equipped weapon range implicit and critical rate of 13, which is the biggest critical rate you can have on a two-hander. And for the affixes, of course, first of all, we want to get our gear critical rate multiplier. Critical build without this suffix is impossible. Then weapon attack damage multiplier, then you can go into some flat fire damage on the prefix. After that, flat attack damage on the weapon. And these four affixes is already good. And if you want to push it further, you can pick up weapon range or speed. And on the suffix, you want critical damage multiplier. Yeah, this is basically perfect weapon for early game. And for the itemization besides the weapons, critical build has more options. On gloves you can roll some critical damage and attack critical rate. On the rings also, you can roll some attack critical rate and some critical damage. Neck is basically the same, only fire damage flat and elemental damage multipliers. If those items are non-authority items. Uniques, we are looking at rings. If you are doing critical build, you want to pick up cast or refraction. And if you're doing maximize build, you want Band of Certainty. Those are two basically default rings for any build. At the same time, if you want to have a lot of range on your Explosive Slash, you can do Piercing Eye. This one is going to scale your weapon range and it's going to be big. The only problem that the damage part of this one 
is really kind of low. It works better on maximized build. It doesn't work as good on critical build because critical rate is only 9. And if you're doing maximized build, you can do Boil's Horizon as this one increases your energies and it's basically free damage. This is everything I wanted to show. As always, I'm trying to keep it friendly to new players, explaining only the important stuff. If you have any questions, you can ask those on YouTube comments. Don't forget to check the description as if something comes up, I'm gonna update it and leave some notes in here. If you need help with your build, you can find me live streaming on Twitch and YouTube as it's much easier for me to help than rather to write all the stuff that you need to do. Talking is much faster. But GDs, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.